Hello everyone, I'm Sister Connie Smith from Agape Christian Worship Center and I'm here today with another devotional. The title of our devotional today is Timing is Everything and it comes from the scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 and it reads as follows, to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under the heaven a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracement. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. All of us can relate to praying to God for something that we desire or something that we need or about a problem that we may have. And we remember being frustrated or impatient because God is taking a long time to answer, especially the way we want him to answer. In Psalm 121 verses 1 through 4 it says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And we really believe that. But sometimes our reaction to his delayed response is our need to symbolically yell out, Lord, what's taking you so long? In the same passage of Psalm 121, it says, he never slumbers, nor does he sleep, and that he is our keeper. But yet and still, we get impatient, and we have this nearsightedness about how long God is supposed to take to answer our prayers. But is that fair to God? You know, in our nearsightedness, we forget all of the other gifts that God has bestowed upon us while we're waiting for him to answer that very special prayer that we have. Uh, sometimes when we tell people, oh, it's not time yet to get married, or it's not time yet to go to school, or it's not time to have kids, or it's not time for me to change jobs, or go into this relationship, or get out of that relationship. We tell others all the time, it's not time yet. And our friends and family, they make room for the delayed response or reaction that we have. We forget to give the same room to God. God knows perfect timing. He knows everything. He's the creator of everything. Remember where it says in Isaiah 55, my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways. My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. So what do we do while we wait for God? Well, the first thing we should do is count our blessings. There's a song that says, count your blessings, count them one by one. Count your many blessings and see what God has done. When we Think about waiting for God. The best way to wait is to count our blessings. The second way to wait is to pray. Waiting and prayer go together. Pray with a willingness to wait. Thank him for what he's already done and what he's doing. Continue to worship privately and cooperatively. Serve others. It takes your mind off of what you want. 
It does the work of the Lord, and it, it helps you not to think about your problems. Be the answer for somebody else's prayer. You never know how God wants to use you in the answer he has for somebody else. Pray with honesty. You know, cry, laugh, sing, fast. Don't hide your frustration from God. Let him know your heart. Pray with perseverance. In other words, the Bible teaches us to pray without ceasing. And you may say, well, God knows all, so why do I need to continually keep asking him for the same thing over and over and over and over again? Well, we don't. But what it does when we continually ask him, it gives us an opportunity to continually be in his presence. So every time we go to God with our request, we go into his presence. So pray without ceasing. Pray with a readiness. In other words, uh, use the scout motto of be prepared because you don't know when God is going to answer. Be prepared to do whatever he asks you to do. Be prepared for the whatever day the answer comes on. It may not be a convenient day for you, but it's a convenient day for God. And be prepared to go in the direction that he tells you to go in. Lastly, pray with confidence. Just because you can't see God working doesn't mean he's not working. We are on a need to know basis with God. God's past actions in our lives should motivate us to believe that he is faithful. Most of the time when God answers, it's at an unexpected time. So be prepared and be confident that he will answer. But remember, timing is everything. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you once again for another day. We thank you for this opportunity to bring a word from the scriptures. Father, we know that you're an all-wise, all-knowing God and that you have created everything. So we know, Father, that our prayers have not gone unheard, that you know all about them, you know all about our situation. So, Father, we just ask that you would continually bless us as we wait for you. Give us the strength, Lord, to do the work that you've called us to do and to continue to worship and pray while we wait. Father, we give you all praise, glory, and honor. And it's in Jesus' name I pray, amen.